Okay, Houston, uh, looking straight ahead forward, uh, we see the node uh, forward hatch. And on the right wall, uh, some of the stuff that came out of PMA3 that's Temsco, the big green mesh bag is uh, Oleg's ECOC stuff uh, that I'll want to be putting away with on the other side are Clay and Fyodor's ECOX from EVA, Stage EVA 9. Uh, you see some more equipment that's stowed, temp stowed there, node uh, forward uh, one on the port wall. And then you can see some of my handiwork uh, so far for prepack. And I actually saw the uh, Nader window, saw through the window yesterday when I cleaned some of that stuff out. There are some empty bags stuffed in and uh, bags of various sizes. There are the two 3.0 CTBs. Uh, you see the pink bubble wrap there in the middle that uh, Oleg and I hope to throw away uh, today or tomorrow. Most of it, we're saving some for packing, but uh, we figure we'll use dirty clothes if we, because it's okay to use dirty clothes and throw away bubble wrap, I think. Um, so we've got it pretty stable here on the right side of the node, and this may help Miss Morgan. Stuff behind the uh, peach railing there are CTBs filled with dividers, and then there's another empty CTB there on the end at the bottom of the picture. And uh, that's pretty much it. Most of the stuff is ready, packed, ready to go, and clearly labeled, so hopefully it won't be too much trouble. Uh, the water wall to the left is uh, looking very good these days. Has lots of usable water and uh, the two poles for the red exercise system. Uh, not much different about uh, red, essentially. We stow uh, the old harness there that Mr. Lopez Alegria used, and we use that one when we want to on the SEVIS exercise. That's been well documented these days. Uh, we use a non-collapsible U.S. food container there stuffed in the corner for a bench when we want to do bench press on the red, and that's quite helpful. Uh, this here is Mr. 3018. Joey EMU, and he's all bundled up with no place to go, and he'll sit here for the duration as far as I'm concerned. Below him uh, is the EVA 2-4 pre-packed tool bag for the boys and girls of STS-118, and uh, it's covering up another piece of hardware. To be honest with you, I don't remember what it is, but it's temp stowed from PMA-3 as well, but hopefully everything Rick and Dave and Tracy need for the EVAs and clay is stuffed in that bag. As we continue aft, kind of looking at the port side near the floor, there's where Robot is deployed, and uh, Lisa Harris will understand when I show her this laptop that's sitting on there that I fired up the other day, and the screen actually works, so we're trying to figure out, or she's trying to figure out her uh, uh, laptop plan now. And I don't know if you can see it, I'll try to zoom in. One of the things that Sunny and L.A. did on the uh, UOPs and the uh, power strips that's really good and I'm continuing is to label uh, each port that we're using, each outlet. So you'll see one is for robot and the other is for iWIS. And that helps us uh, understand quickly where things are going to so we don't have to uh, think so hard and pull up the plug-in plan and that sort of thing. And as I rotate and go up the port wall aft in the node, you can see the brown plastic bag, which is Clay's trash bag. And here's where anything I find that you guys agree to is trash gets dumped in there. And an Oleg comes periodically and empties it and dumps it into progress. The big white bag is our foam bag. And we pack it with foam. It was stuffed to the gills a couple weeks ago. And Oleg has since emptied it to put it in the progress. And here's our dirty clothes bag. You don't want to get too close to that because it stinks, it's gnarly, it's nasty. It's what I like to uh, threaten my crewmates with if they get out of line. And right above uh, Joey, the EMU, above Joey, the EMU, we have a guitar and it's a potential spot for stowage and prepack. I'm trying to save that as my last resort. Same thing with uh, the red exercise area where we keep some um, 
some of our exercise equipment. We can also use that region to stow bags uh, and stack the uh, red equipment on the top. So we have a few cubby holes. I don't know if, how much it's going to be, but we'll have to see. And then the last thing I'll show you is just south of the airlock here, we have a clear wall as it goes up. This is where the guitar is, and we slide around to the starboard side. And we see that there's some area here as well, but this is where a lot of IP phone calls get made and a lot of work gets done on the SSC right here, SSC 9, for IMS, task list, and things like that. So we wouldn't want to cover that too much if we didn't have to. And then finally, here is the uh, A31P PAL to NCSC conversion kit. It has a nice label in there, and uh, you can see how the Sharpie rubs off the bag. So I added a label, so hopefully it'll stay there forever. And all the parts are in there nicely wrapped up to uh, connect and do the conversion from PAL to NTSC. Clay, that was a fantastic tour of the node. Uh, we're up to date visually on what the... And the last wall, I think, is uh, node 4 Nader, where the toolbox is right here. And another look at the uh, electrical cord for the vacuum cleaner. And the vacuum cleaner lives right here on the corner. It's tied down nicely out of the way. It lives on the standard UOP and pretty much stays there all the time. And uh, so this would be our barber shop as well. Following up the beautifully adorned peach wall, we'll see our flashlight, uh, the uh, CSACP that turned off the KFX machine and the uh, sampler unit for the CSACPs. And this is our laundry area where we dry our sweaty gym clothes, or at least clay does. You can see my uh, heart rate monitor strap is drying there as we speak. Well, Houston, I hope that's helpful more than helpful. It gives us a really good uh, visual insight as to the state of prepack right now. Uh, thank you very much for that. Uh, and also gives us some really good insight as to how you guys conduct your daily living activities. Uh, there's a lot of uh, daily routine crew op type of things in the note here. Really appreciate the insight. It really helps us here on the ground. Thank you for taking the time from your busy day to do this. Uh, no problem, and uh, I'll do an official one of the uh, airlock for the boys and girls on 118, and when I do that, um, I'll also add some footage in here just like before so that uh, Barb has a one-stop shop and she can look at it all on the single DVD. Same for Scott. You demand. Oh, and uh, just so you guys know, there's a little dedication for Willie McCool up here, the uh, banners from the United States Naval Academy, and then there's a picture of Willie and his family on the night uh, he went into quarantine, and I got that from Lonnie McCool, and I like to proudly display it here for uh, all eternity in the, in the node right by the resistive exercise device. I know Willie would have appreciated the uh, resistive exercise device, so... Um, that's kind of a tribute to him. Nicely done, Clay. My pleasure. He was a heck of a man, and uh, as was a heck of a crew on uh, the Columbia mission. They were all wonderful people. Thanks.